morning teacher. Today I would like to present Enhancing and Probability in Marketing. This is our group member, Liu Xiaohui, I'm Liu Xiaohui, Tan Boon Yi, Xia Ming Yi, Ong Chen Yi, Ding Dong Wei, and Ng Jing Peng. This is our group photo when I was doing our interviewing. This is our interviewing background. Uh, his name is Ong Wei Chi, 60 years old, 25. 20, 35 years working experience in Berjaya Land Berhad. His position is Senior Complex Manager, Working Content Sales Land and Shop Lot. The first question that I ask is what criteria that the company looks for hiring a fresh graduate? The first that he said is more enthusiastic, and second one is re religion, hard working, and the last one is must have a good communication skill. And the second question that I ask is does the company offer any internship program for the marketing graduate? According to his he said the company is his company is a corporate so certain season their company will offer internship but certain company they won't Working with Berjaya Corporate, which has company 7-Eleven, Starbucks, and that's all. So certain company they will do have the internship program, and company like the one that he working, it is running a complex. So running a complex, they need very experienced and informed so they cannot give internship to run a complex. The third question is different between a certificate, diploma and degree which you can consider higher an employee. According to the interviewee, he said that they will choose the degree certificate more than diploma certificate. But the most important thing is the communication skill and not a person who will give up easily because in the marketing position you have to try again and again even you fail many times if you are a person who give up easily that you will not easy to success in the marketing field Good afternoon Ms. Tra, I'm Bu Yi This is the question that I asked for the interviewee He mentioned that communication skill and collaboration and team skill is a very important skill in beneficiary that organization looking for fresh degree. The first skill is communication skill. He mentioned that as a marketer, he has to able to expand the product and service to the potential customer. Besides that, he also has to persuade the customer about the product to purchase the product. So besides that, as a marketer, he has to know how to sell his sell and also bring the product to the customer. If he lack of the effective communication skill, it's very difficult to survive in marketing field. And the second skill is collaboration and team skill. He mentioned that marketer has to play nice with other departments like sales, IT, public relationship, even finance department. So he said that when we come to work, we have to learn how to work and collaboration with the people. And we also have to know about the teamwork skill is because teamwork is the key successful element that enables us to determine whether we can create the great marketing. So when we come to work, we must be humble and also set on the successful people to help us to achieve the goal. This is the question that I asked from the interviewee. He mentioned that yes. Having the extra language group will make them to consider in hiring a fresh graduate. The reason is due to the degree holder has a training in market. Holding the degree cert is no longer as a competitive advantage in second the job. So the employer will look at what are the extra skills they have. So the employee said that it's extra language skill. Because extra language skill will help the candidates when go into the interview to step up their personality or other strength. So for the second reason, the employee said that their company have a lot of the multinational clients. So they always need to rely on the help of transmitter when they conversation. So if let's say the 
they have the multilingual marketer they will help them to enhance their business is done faster and even efficiency across the complex market. This is the third question they asked from the interview. He, he mentioned that Basel Malaysia and Mandarin is very important language than marketing penetration. It's because Basel Malaysia is very useful language. It's because as in Malay dominant big population in Malaysia, our main target market would be Malay customers. If let's say the marketing graduate have to work in the local company rather than international company, Basel Malay is very important language that marketing graduate should have. So the second language should be Mandarin is because nowadays many employers and companies are purpose setting to build a relationship and develop the business relationship with China. So Mandarin has become variable and highly sought up the skill in today's world. So, marketing graduate should be professional in. Uh, good morning, Mitra. I am Mingyi. The question that I asked Mr. Wong is what type of factor we will consider in recruiting employee and the reason. The, Mr. Wong mentioned that the personality is the most important for recruiting employee. So, the candidate must present professionally in yourself. So, as a marketer, the creator of the marketer must have a talking person and have a good communication skill. So, sometimes you cannot speak well in a certain, can, certain language. You also can try your best to speak up and show you have the design to learn. The next is positive attitude. If you are a hardworking person, you have a higher percentage for hiring. So, do some preparation before the interview. So the candidate has the basic knowledge about the company and the interview you look at you, you have the motivation can complete all the things. Next, what are some of the reasons you are rejecting candidate so far? Every, everybody know the choosing the candidate or hire the candidate we might have an interview. So interview is the most important process for decision for recruitment the employee. So the first reason is time management. Candidate must have the have, have be a good time management. So candidate must be punctual on the interview. So this action can prove that this job is very important to you. Next is next reason is the dress of opportunity. Everybody knows dress for success. So if you can't interview, dress by like t-shirt and short pants means you are not respected the interviewer. They can make you the reason to got a rejected. The last point is communication skill. As a marketer, we need to connect to people. We, want, we must to promote our brand and the product to consumer. So if you don't have this type of the skill, this also will be rejected because you, uh, you cannot talk with the person. So you also cannot talk with the interviewer. And then when the interviewer asks your question, you stand there and this question. So the interviewer must leave a bad, bad impression. So this also will be rejected. Uh, good morning, lecturer. Uh, I'm Ong Chen Yi. And this is the first question I asked the interviewee uh, regarding the working experience, whether it's important to affect your, uh, his final hiring decision. And what he mentioned is, uh, it actually depends on uh, the job spec. If it is hiring a marketing position and the uh, interviewer is fit the job, uh, the job spec and he will give the chance to them. He says that nobody starts with uh, experience with working. So if the candidates fit the requirement, he will give the chance. Okay, um, this is the second question I asked uh, Mr. Ong. And uh, the question is about the responsibilities must one candidate have in the marketing positions. And regarding her opinion, first, she thinks that the candidates must have uh, must be able to communicate because uh, marketing is, is a field where marketing uh, marketer need to talk. And secondly, the uh, candidates must be able to bring important points out and able to deliver the message to others. Um, a shy personality is not for the marketing position candidates and marketing is a field where you have to put the shyness away. And thirdly, uh, candidates must have a good nature and friendly nature. 
uh, for example, like sometimes you know that you can't do it, but you still have to do it. Push yourself. You have to start the first step. There should not be any shyness in this field. And fourthly, he thinks that the candidates must be skilled in your own technical knowledge and sort analysis. Candidates must have your own marketing plan. And the most important is a marketing candidate must have an outgoing nature. Uh, they must be willing to go out and mix with all types of people. If a candidate uh, always stay in office and all the time and not going to meet other people, this candidate is not suitable for marketing positions. And in your way, the question that I asked the interviewee is, what is the organization policy on providing seminar workshop and training so the employee can keep up their skills or acquire a new one, especially for the new lead? As is mentioned by Mr. Ong, he running some complex such as Kajaya Times Square, Federal Heart Idea and so on. In his organization, training programs are running by the Associated for employees and employers to understand the latest law and regulation. Furthermore, it mentioned that nowadays government imposes fees for the free training. Last time they have to pay a certain money for their training and nowadays they are sending their uh, employees for free trainings. Next, does a candidate on a reputation affect their decision to hire them? As Mr. Ong mentioned, it is not. But he also mentioned that for other companies, they might be considered. For certain organizations, checking social media account is to learn as much about the candidate characteristic. Following by uh, another question, if you found a candidate or employee which has no interest in marketing position but he or she has high productivity, creative idea, will you ask he or she organization or remain stand to work for your organization and why? As Mr. Ong mentioned that he won't let the employee to leave the company. It is because it is a loss to company that asking people who can deliver a job with high productivity. At the same time, uh, the employer would like to figure out the reason behind which may be lack of interest and then looking way for solve the issue. For example, if a candidate which has no interest in marketing position may be transferred to different departments such as um, project management and others. An example given by Mr. Ong, which is his secondary, that so uh, like to outgoing with clients and he transfer her to marketing and system and now it is a marketing executive. And every job are the same. Good morning, Miss. Uh, today I'm going to present the question that I asked for the interview. With. My name is Ajit Bing. First, I asked about the procedure of selection method that the company used in selecting the marketing graduates. First, of course, it's knowledge. Uh, you need to the, need the diploma and degree certificate to support yourself. Then, the company will test on your marketing skill. It will provide a situation for you and test how you're going to communicate with your customer for you to face and solve their problems. Then, you must have the communicating skill. You must talking with others and collaborate with your customer. Next, you must have the enthusiastic when you are working. You must focus when you are working in the working position. And you must also believe in your product and love your product. For example, if you sell cigarettes and you feel smoking are bad, then how you tell your customer to buy the cigarette? This is the important. So you must believe in your product. Okay, the second question that I ask is, I have only one year left in my degree. Other than attending class, what should I do to make myself become a suitable candidate? First, I will ask you say you must ask yourself, did you really love marketing? Because you must want always correlate with other and talking to other every day. This is not an easy job. Next, you must leave the shine away. 
because you must talk with your target market. Not only you are talking with your target market, every company are target, target with your target market. So, you must have the enthusiastic and self-motivation to motivate you to the lead to you, you to the success. Then, as I say, you must collaborate with other. You must have the communicating skill. You need to learn more than one language. Nowadays, Mandarin, English, and Malay is important in marketing. So you must know more than one language. Then. You must also be love travel because you will be outgoing and you must have a good staying power to stay at the company. You must not easy to give up, fail never mind, go again and again, repeat it many times, you will be success. Okay, now I'm going to explain the conclusion of my interview. Okay, these are objective through this interview season. We can understand the importance of skill attainment and career development and is linked with the personal development planning and core curriculum development of the ship. We also understand the process of recruitment and selection and link to their employment prospect. Thank you.